Hi there everyone, this is Sean from TechCube. So first let me remind you that you are doing at your own risk. Now first of all you will be needing TWRP. For that video link will be in the description below. ROM file and GApps file is also required. Now first we need to go into TWRP by using volume button, power button and home key together to boot into recovery. And make sure that you have copied GApps as well as the ROM file to the internal storage. Now once we are in the TWRP recovery, we need to first go on to wipe and then tap on advanced wipe. And in advanced wipe, we need to choose Dalvik cache, system, cache and data and then swipe to continue. And once it's finished, we need to go back to the main menu and then here we need to choose the locate the rom file where you have kept it and then on the rom file tap once and once the file is selected swipe once again to continue and once it's finished we need to again wipe caches and then swipe again and it's done not tap on reboot it may take around 15 to 20 minutes so yeah so don't panic So now let me give you a quick review of this ROM. So first let's head to setting and see what Android version are we running. And as you can see here we are running Android version 5.1.1 and latest security patch level is also installed. So that's kinda nice and in the battery section we find that the battery life on this ROM is extremely poor. So uh, yeah that's kind a uh, bad thing. And in the gestures section we find that many gestures are present so uh, yeah that's kinda nice addition to this ROM, ambient display, hand wave and many more are present. So now let me quickly give you a quick demo of the same. And this one is hand wave and let me do it once again. And as you just saw it works completely fine. So yeah, and all the basic functionalities like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and SIM card work completely fine as well. So now let's talk about bugs. So the first bug in this ROM is uh, the camera app doesn't open and the camera app doesn't take any pictures. So that's kind of major bug in this ROM. And uh, one of the good uh, pros I found in this is FM radio works completely fine. But the music player can't play any music. So that's another major bug present in this ROM. So here and there bugs are present. I hope the developer fixes these bugs pretty soon. So yeah, fingers crossed. So that's all folks. This is Sean and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace out.